I think full recovery really comes at about three, three to six months. Okay, it's, I mean, that's, uh, three to six months sounds like a very broad range, but these are patients with individual, very individual problems in their knees. Um, the operations are very individual to them, and therefore their, their progress, it's very difficult to, to really generalise about their progress, but they make significant progress after three months, and then they're, they're really progressing up through six months, and, and really up to a year probably for, most, for, for some of them. These are the x-rays of a, a very interesting chap who actually I've known for a long time. And if you have a look, on the left leg, he's so knocked knee that that plumb line completely misses his knee. And once that plumb line gets outside the bone, it becomes a self-perpetuating process and it gradually gets worse and worse and worse. So he wears down the outside of the knee joint and gets arthritis on the outside. I'd, I'd lived with it for a, l a, num a large number of years. Um, um, I'd been in the forces. I'd, I'd, my legs always been... I just lived with it. I would say, yeah, it was start, I was starting to get pain in my hip and my hips and my, my lower spine. Um, that's when I, I realised, you know, I needed to, to, to speak to somebody. He had terrible pain in his knee. Um, he will need a knee replacement at some stage, but it is virtually impossible to do a knee replacement to someone with a, a knee that looks like that. It will fail. It's, the plumb line isn't going through the middle of it, so the forces will make it wear out. And he's only 50. And in John's case, to be able to get him straight, we had to uh, do an osteotomy cut both his femur, his thigh bone, and his tibia, his, his shin bone. And these are his x-rays about three months after uh, that operation has been done. You can see the plates and the screws on there. And you can see that the plumb line now runs right down the middle of his knee. So although he's still got arthritis and although uh, he has still got a painful knee, he's now got a straight leg. He's very, very much happier with the shape of his leg. And when we come to do a knee replacement, I can now do a very standard knee replacement on him on a straight leg, which hopefully will last a lot longer. I've been told that the, the, knee, the knee is pretty badly shot to bits. Um, so to that end, um, in January of next year, I'm coming in to have all the, um, the steel work removed. Um, and that's with a view to um, the, uh, the bones healing up completely with, in the future, um, the possibility of having a, a knee replacement as and when. Osteotomy has had a bit of a resurgence, uh, certainly worldwide, particularly in Europe and of late in the UK, and we've rather taken that on. And we've probably got the biggest series in the UK at the moment. We have a database, which means we keep all the data on all of our osteotomy patients from pre- and post-operatively, so we're able to look very robustly at the results. It's made a massive difference. It, you know, it's, it's given me, it's taken me back about 10 years, which is fantastic. So my operation was in December, but by July, I was out hiking in the Alps and quite the thing, and celebrating the fact that I had no pain and um, um, bouncing about. And so we changed our surgical technique. We changed to an established plate that we used to fix the osteotomy that had a really good track record. We learnt about the new accelerated rehab. Our patients don't go into plaster, they get no brace, they're up and about the next day. And with the new indications, the new surgical technique, the excellent fixation device, rapid rehabilitation, we've now got 160 patients in our series and the vast majority are doing extremely well. I'm always very impatient for things to recover really quickly. And um, it didn't recover as quickly as I would like. Um, and I would have liked to have been up and walking. Um, I was up and walking, but I would have liked to have been up and walking without pain immediately. Um, but it was very sore. Um, and um, it took, I guess, about um, two months before I was um, really, the pain was right down below the level it had been before. After an osteotomy, you should get back to most normal levels of activity. But is it going to turn the clock back 20 years and allow you to play the football that you were playing 20 years ago? Probably not. One little thing is that I hadn't realised, I hadn't thought about the fact that my leg would look different. It's realigned. And so it looks different. It's fine. I'm used to it now. But at first that was quite a shock.